Hello, this is ThunderGP, and I'm just doing a quick tutorial on how to run Xenia with the mods that we have provided. First thing you're going to need is you're going to need an ISO for Halo 3. I am not going to link one due to it just being illegal. You probably can find one online somewhere, but I just cannot provide that. You are going to need to go and get the program known as Xenia. It's a Xbox 360 emulator. If you go to Google, type in Xenia as it's spelt there. It's the first link, Xenia Xbox 360 Research Emulator. Once you go here, you're just going to hit Latest Release, and there's going to be two versions. You're going to have a Master Vulkan file, and then you're going to have a D3D, D, or D3D12. That's going to be your DirectX 12 version of it. Um, for right now, I just run the Master Vulkan one, just because it has more inside of it internally. It should have the DirectX 12 version running as well, but no matter which one you pick, it should work. And then in the description of this video, I'm going to leave a link to the Google Drive where it's going to have the executable that you're going to need to run it. And it's going to just have the AI playground map, which is going to allow you to spawn in AI. So once you go ahead and you download your version of Xenia, you're just going to want to extract it. It's going to be in a zip file. So standard zip file, you can get WinRAR, should work fine. Um, inside your game ISO, I like keeping it in the same folder as my other emulators, so I keep a game ISO. Inside there, you're going to want to put your executable in the root directory of your game, and you just want to put the map file into your map file. It's a simple drag and drop, nothing too complicated. Once you have that, all you got to do is run, Xen or run Xenia. I recommend always running it as an administrator. And then once you open it up, you're going to want to make sure that you have your controller handy for it, and you just want to hit open. And instead of running the default XEX, you're going to want to run the Halo 3 TU3 AI. That's going to allow you to run the specific version that will allow you to spawn the AI. Forge, I do apologize, the textures are still kind of buggy, but when you go into your actual Forge menu, you're going to have a special tab for blue team AI, green team AI, different options. Some of them will cause the game to crash depending on which one you choose, um, but all the elites should spawn in fine, so when you spawn in an elite, he's going to go in. Like normal, all the AI will spawn in, spawn point still works like a normal main point. Again, the textures are a little bit buggy, but you do have to kind of aim at the wrong spot. Um, other things is if you go underneath weapons, this will work on pretty much any map. Um, there'll be a couple different ones that you can have added in, um, especially on Sand Trap that the few modded in already. But for right now, it should just be the standard weapons. You do get the standard like extra wraiths, or like anti-air wraiths, some of the warthogs, different pelicans, different turrets, things like that. They should all work fine. Um, I'm gonna go back just like so a game show you the over menu for it. So that's the straight up AI map. But if you go straight to like Sand Trap, it should have the other ones built in. This is just a standard copy of a uh, Sand Trap. This is mainly done through the XDX as well. Give you a few extra settings. Scarab 
major things that I'm just going to add is if you're going to spawn a pelican or a uh, phantom, there is the occasional spawn issue where they will sort of float through the ground and just leave the model to be a conflict. Now, everything will just care about And you have the issue of the video where there's just that whole uh, issue with particles. Right? So, normally you'd have the sounds popping up. Again, some weapons are fine, some weapons aren't fine. It's a work in progress. I do definitely say if you have the money or have the time to support the Zenia crew right now, that should be it. I hope you have guys have a great day and enjoy.